our cash feed. Depositions coming soon. Real soon. Real, 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 real soon. Nip. Famous before the fame. It's an ABC thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't expect you to understand. I'm saying, so you, you, you say you jumped off the porch, you know what I'm saying, early. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, with that being said, like, did you end up doing time or anything like that? Yeah, I did time when I was... I started doing time when I was 13. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It started for me going to a level four program. Mm. And I just was fading. Keep getting in the bullshit. And they transferred me to a level six. Level six, they transferred me to a level eight. And if you know about programs, you know what I'm saying? Level four, four to six, level six, six to nine, and level eight is like, I can't really remember, like 18, 36 months, I think, or something like that. But I ended up doing three years from 13 to 16, got out, rocking with my, uh, jump back with my niggas, rocking with my niggas in. I fucked around and caught a, um, a pistol charge. Um, I caught a um, possession of ammunition by a convicted felon and a possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. When I was 17 I went in when I was 17 Then another year Got out when I was 18 mm. So so like during them times Like like what was what was the experience for you Like you know what I'm saying In the system Like the first time You know what I mean at, at Being so young Like did it intimidate you You know what I mean What was your experience Oh no It, it didn't really intimidate me You know when I first walked up in there I was like man What the fuck Yeah you know what I'm saying? Cause you, you gotta understand, I'm 13, you got niggas 16. I'm 13, you got niggas 16, and at this time, I'm looking at these niggas like, bitch, they grown as fuck, you feel me? Yeah. But at the end of the day, niggas used to try to be bullies, but I never was pussy. Like, I never was the type to take that shit, so mm -hmm. I just kept getting the bullshit. Like, nigga, you got me fucked up. So, I stood to the paint, Win, lose, or draw was my was my model. Like, nigga, you you gonna have to just whoop me, and I'm if I could get back up, I'm gonna take another ass whoop, and that just was me. I was just that hard headed little nigga, so I just kept doing time and time, and they kept adding time and time and time until I did three years, thirteen to sixteen. Like that shit was crazy. Yeah, it is a system. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I was feeling like, damn, I ain't never finna get out of that bitch. Like I'm lost in this bitch. This yeah. shit crazy, but. That's why I started like getting the passion for rapping, like, cause I used to take like I used to vent. Like rapping is like a a a, a way to vent for me. It's an avenue to vent. So I used to do that to like get shit off my chest, cause I never was good at talking. You know what I'm saying? I never was good at talking. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Famous Before the Fame podcast. I really appreciate it. Check this out. I'm going to keep doing my job, which is continue to deliver dope content. What I need from you in return don't even cost $1. If you really like this episode and want to hear more, make sure you follow us on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, and watch us on YouTube so you never miss another episode. Like, subscribe, review, retweet, and share. Again, I am Super Sean, and this is FamousBeforeTheFame.com.